Hello everyone, I am Raging Janitor, and this is going to be the first video in what I hope is a series of videos on how to do some things in paint.net, which is a fantastic free art program that's available online. I will put a link in the description um, so that you can download that for yourself. Um, and the reason I'm making these videos is I feel like for small creators like myself, um, one of the biggest barriers is the belief that you need uh, expensive tools like Photoshop to have nice looking graphics on your stream or your content. Um, and that just isn't true. You can accomplish a lot of things with free software. Um, so what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how you can add a little bit of texture to some of your graphics. So what I've got on the screen here is I have what is going to be a uh, banner on my about section on my Twitch stream. Um, I've got that all made up the way I want, but I want it to have a little bit of a kind of grainy look to it. So how do we accomplish that in paint? So what I have is I found, bring this into the screen here, I found this film grain image. So I kind of want to add this type of a texture to the support banner here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy that image and then we're going to go over to layers here. If you don't see layers on your screen, you're just going to want to go up to the top right corner of your paint.net application and toggle that. So if it isn't, if it doesn't have a square around it, it means you don't have it highlighted. So just click that and then your layers will show up. So what we're going to do is we're going to paste this image over the top of our support. So we're gonna go down to the bottom left of our layers uh, window here, click that. And so it by default threw it under, but we actually want this to be on the top. So we're just gonna left click that, drag it up. And now our brand new layer is on the very top of this, on, on the very top, um, it's on top of our support banner here. So I copied our film grain. And so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna hit Control V to paste. Um, this is gonna ask me if I wanna expand the canvas size or keep the canvas size. I already have the support banner the exact way I want it in terms of size. So I'm gonna click keep canvas size. And here we go. Now we have this image over the top of it. But uh, of course we have a problem here. Um, you, you can't see anything. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to go up to our menus here and I'm going to click, I'm going to click layers and then I'm going to go down where it says layer properties. So I'll click that and here it's going to give us some options for our layer. The option that we want to adjust here is our opacity. So if you see, move this out of the way here, if we slide this up and down, we can get a different opacity for this. And so I've already created a couple of these and the opacity I decided on was somewhere around 75. So that gives us kind of a nice little texturing on top of our text that we have built here. Okay. So we're going to accept this. And if you need to adjust that later, don't worry. You can always go back to layers and mess with that again, but we're just going to set it to 75 for now. So what we need to do next is we need to remove the rest of this film green that's on the outside of our support text here. So we're going to go back down to the layer that actually has the text on it. So in this case, it's named layer three. I guess they're both named layer three, but um, we can see here because it's got the image. Uh, and then we're going to take on our tools here and again, if you if you don't see your tools, just go up to your top right and there's this little hammer. If you don't have that toggled on, you won't see your tools. So make sure you have that toggled. Then we're gonna go to this magic wand tool, which is a fantastic tool. Um, I use it all the time to create graphics uh, for my Twitch stream. So we're gonna click that. And you can see now I clicked outside of the text. If we click here, it's going to select the individual components, but we don't want that. We want to erase all the stuff around it. Um, so we're going to click that. A suggestion I have, there's this tolerance bar 
at the very top of your screen here. Um, you're going to want, if you want the texture to be nice and tight on your text, you're going to want to have about as high of a tolerance as you can until it goes into the text. So you see there, I toggled it up to 75% and now all of a sudden it's eaten away at the red part of the text. So I'm going to back up the tolerance a little bit and there we go, flip back to red. So I'll just go back a couple clicks there. Now it's going to be nice and tight on our text. So then what we're going to do without clicking anything else, we're going to flip back to our film grain layer, that texture that we added, flip back to that layer, and then I'm just going to hit delete. And there we go. We got rid of all of that extra texture. And now we have this nice support graphic that kind of has a little uh, film grain type appearance to it. Um, another thing you can do here to clean it up uh, similar to what we did in the last layer. Um, I don't want it inside of the, the P and the O letters, so we're just going to click inside of those. Whoops. And we can just go up, do the same thing, select it in the text layer, go back up to the film grain layer, delete it out, and there we go. Clears it out nice like that. And there we go. And you can do this with a variety of textures um, just to kind of make your make your uh, your graphic not appear quite as flat. So uh, if you like this video, um, subscribe to the channel or catch us over on Twitch. Uh, my Twitch username is Raging Jander TV. Um, I hope you found this video helpful and I hope to see you again in the future. Bye now.